In this video, we'll talk about ions and their properties. Let's start with neutral atoms. Neutral atoms have an equal number of protons and electrons, so they are electrically neutral. When an atom loses an electron or multiple electrons, it becomes positively charged and is called the cation. The removal of an electron requires energy. We can use the periodic table to see how many electrons a main group element may lose. Elements found in the first column of the periodic table, also called alkali metals, have only one valence electron. They lose this electron and become a cation with a plus one charge. For example, sodium's electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. What is the correct electron configuration for the sodium ion, Na+. The highest energy and easiest to ionize electron in the sodium atom is 3s1, and so it is ionized first. The resulting electron configuration of the sodium ion is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. You'll notice that once the valence electron of an alkali metal, such as sodium, is lost, the atom has the same electron configuration as the preceding noble gas, neon in this case. This is known as noble gas configuration. In general, it's been observed that atoms and ions that don't have valence electrons are particularly stable. Sodium, then, would have the same electron configuration as neon. What would be the electron configuration of the potassium cation, K+. Because potassium loses one electron to achieve the same configuration as argon, the preceding noble gas, its electron configuration is the same as that of argon. This means that these two answers are correct. Nonmetals, such as halogens found in the 17th column of the periodic table, gain a single electron to achieve noble gas configuration. The atoms become negatively charged and are called anions. How many valence electrons does fluorine, a halogen, have? Fluorine is in the 17th column of the periodic table, so it has seven valence electrons. How many electrons must fluorine gain to achieve noble gas configuration? Fluorine must gain one electron to achieve the same configuration as neon, the next noble gas. How many electrons do you predict that oxygen, found in group 16, will gain to form a stable ion? Oxygen must gain two electrons. Let's try one more. Alkaline earth metals are found in the second column of the periodic table, group 2, an example of which is calcium. These elements have two valence electrons. What do you predict about the reactivity of group 2 elements? Since group 2 elements have two valence electrons, both of these valence electrons will be lost to form cations with a plus 2 charge. We already said that losing an electron requires energy, and each subsequent electron lost requires even more energy. Similarly, as atoms lose electrons, the size of the atom's electron cloud will change. Which of the following species do you expect to be the smallest? The more electrons that an atom loses, the smaller its atomic radius will be. The size of the atom is determined by the size of its largest electron waves. In calcium, the largest of its 20 electron waves is the 4s electrons. There's two of them. As an atom like calcium loses electrons, the total negative charge of the electron cloud decreases, but the nuclear charge, the number of protons in the nucleus, remains the same. So, when an electron is removed from the atom, the remaining electrons, in this case still a 4s electron, will feel the positive nuclear charge more strongly. This, then, causes the electron cloud to condense, making the atomic radius of the cation smaller than that of a neutral atom. So, while the valence electron of both calcium and calcium plus are 4s electrons, the one remaining 4s electron of calcium plus will be smaller than calcium. But when yet another electron is removed from calcium plus to make calcium 2 plus, the largest electron wave is now going to be a 3p electron. As we know, the size of electron waves is directly proportional to the principal quantum number n, which tells us that the calcium 2 plus, whose size is determined by the 3p electron, will be much, much smaller than calcium plus or calcium, whose sizes are determined by their 4s electrons. Now let's consider atoms that gain electrons. Which of the following species would you expect to have the larger atomic radius? 
When electrons are added to an electron cloud, there is increased electron-electron repulsion. As the atom gains electrons, the charge of the electron cloud becomes greater than the positive charge of the nucleus. This means that the electron cloud will feel less of the nuclear pull, which causes the atomic radius of the atom to increase. In this case, the species with the larger atomic radius is Cl-.